object or a physical space, like starting a game built around a physical toy or having a physical classroom serve as the foundation for a lesson that was authored in AR. But probably best is the support for shared experiences. Now this delivers true multi-user augmented reality. You and the people around you will be able, able to see your own perspective on a common virtual environment. And to help all you developers get started, we created this sample app written in Swift that you'll all be getting today. Now check out how both players and even a third observer can all experience the same environment in real time. It's really fun. Now, we've also brought in a select few developers into our labs over the last couple weeks to work with ARKit, and they love it. Now, one of them is Lego, and what they've done is so fun, you just need to see it. So I'm pleased to invite Martin Sanders, Director of Innovation of Lego, to the stage to give you a live demonstration. Martin. That's great. Thank you very much. Creating and playing with physical Lego sets brings great joy to millions of children and Lego fans all over the world. And now, with ARKit 2, we get to expand those creative possibilities like never before and take things beyond the physical. What we try to do is combine physical and digital together to really open up those creative play possibilities. Because our Lego sets are really the start point for all of those children's imaginations. And when we get a chance to really embed ARKit 2, it takes it to the next level. Let me show you what I mean. I'm just here for dark mode, to be honest. Here we have Assembly Square. It's one of our Lego creator sets. And already has so many great details, it's awesome to play with. But wouldn't it be great if we could take things even further? Well now, with 3D object detection, we get to recognize our models and bring them to life. And just look at all of those rich know, details what, we can now bring into our sets. Because when we combine physical and digital together like this, it really opens up those creative play possibilities. And there's so much to do here. If you see these icons above people and objects, well, they represent missions and stories that we can explore. And with a world as rich and as immersive as this, who wouldn't want to play? So let's add a character. How about this little guy here? Welcome back. Welcome let's go on an adventure. Awesome, let's go on an adventure. But going on an adventure with friends is often way more fun. So Anders, well, why don't you jump on in here? I'm always up on an adventure. Dark Moon is coming, guys. Perfect. Because now, with our Kit 2's multi-user support, we get to play with up to four friends in the same space. Let's go ahead and add a few things from our collection, Anders. Okay, I will add a bank over here. Very nice, I like it. How about taking this for a spin? Because just look at all those rich details you can see on the outside of the building and even on the inside. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to add this guy. He's definitely going to keep the bank safe. Okay. Oh look, my character's hungry. Let's take him over to the bakery. Let's see what they have. Because now with ARKit 2, we get to see inside our physical creations and check out all the details that were hidden before. Got a ballerina, a little uh, music session going on. Okay. And uh, looks like a bathroom or something. Oops, sorry. I'm Moving on. I'm oh, another play trigger in the bakery. Let's see what happens when I click on this. <laughs> oh, that doesn't look too good. Anna's. Got a situation, I'm gonna need your help over here. Okay, 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 I've got a fire truck. Perfect. You put out those flames while, oh, oh dear. Somebody's got themselves trapped on the roof. So I'm gonna use this helicopter to go and uh, pick up these clowns. How are you getting on down there, Anders? Almost done, almost done. Great, those guys are safe. And the flames look like they're almost out. Perfect. We did it. It's kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. And what? Good job, Anders. And we even unlocked 
a new item for our collection. But the fun doesn't need to end there, because with ARKit 2, we get to save our entire world back into our physical set and pick up where we left off. Woo! Right, that's awesome. So much fun. But what makes this truly amazing is that with just a single Lego creation and ARKit 2, it really opens up those creative play possibilities. So look out for more Lego AR experiences in the App Store later this year. Thank you very much, everybody. Isn't that great? So that's our update on AR in iOS 12. Next, I'd like to turn to photos. You know, over a trillion photos are captured on iPhone each year. And photos is the best way to relive and share those moments. This year, we're making photos even better. And it starts with search. Search has powerful object and scene recognition. It lets you search for photos based on things like searching for cars, or dogs, or flowers. And that's a great way to explore your library. But in iOS 12, Search now starts working for you even before you start typing with search suggestions. It'll highlight things for you like key moments and people that are important to you. Places where you've taken some great photos and even categories of photos like hiking and water sports. And search is much more powerful than ever. You can search for places by business name. So you could search for SF MoMA or even a broad category like museum. And photos indexes over 4 million events by time and place. Things like sporting events and concerts. And so you can search for them and find photos you took at those events. And search is super powerful. You can now search for multiple search terms, uh, like surfing PC, and vacation, and even get suggestions for additional search terms to help you find exactly what you're looking for. And now in iOS 12, we have an all new tab. It's called For You. And with For You, you have all of your memories, those great memory movies, but more, like featured photos, highlighting a photo that you took on this day in past years. And effect suggestions, for instance, suggesting looping a live photo or applying a new portrait effect to one of your portrait photos. And we even highlight your shared album activity. Now, when it comes to sharing, there are many ways you can share photos, but our focus is on sharing great photos with the people you care about most. And that's why this year in For You, we've added sharing suggestions. So imagine you've gone out for a great dinner with some friends and you took some photos. Well, afterwards in For You, you'll see a suggestion like this to share those photos. If you tap in, you'll see that Photos is even recommending a set of photos that, from that set that you might want to share and suggest who you might want to share them with based in part by the people that appeared in the photos. When you share them, they're shared at full resolution out of your iCloud photo library. And when your friend receives them, something really magical happens. Their phone searches their libraries for other photos they took at that event and suggests that they share them back to you so you both can end up with the full set. Now, this is built around iMessage, so of course it's private using end-to-end -end encryption, and all of those smarts are done with on-device machine learning. So that's your quick update on photos in iOS 12. And next, let's turn to Siri. Now, Yay. Siri is by far the world's most used digital assistant, with over 10 billion requests processed per month. And because Siri works across all your devices, it's always there to help you through your day getting things done. Now, we all know that Siri works with many third-party apps for things like messaging, ride-sharing, uh, and payments. But we wanted to make Siri able to do much more for you. And we're doing that by taking advantage of the power of apps with a new feature we call Shortcuts. Now, with Shortcuts, any app can expose quick actions to Siri. Let's look at some examples. Now, say you have the Tile app because you're always losing your keys. Well, the Tile app can expose the option to add a shortcut to Siri. You can assign your own phrase, such as, I lost my keys, would be a good choice. And when you then say it, Siri will automatically activate Tile and show you right in the Siri UI, start ringing your Tile just like that. It's really great. 
Of course, there, there's so many uses for this kind of thing. You could say game time to get your team's schedule from Team Snap, or help me relax to kick off a meditation, or order my groceries to order your usual. You know, with millions of apps, Shortcut enables incredible possibilities for how you use Siri. Now, as you know, Siri is more than just a voice. Siri's working all the time in the background to make proactive suggestions for you, even before you ask. And now, with uh, shortcuts, Siri can do so much more. So for instance, let's say you order a coffee every morning at Phil's before you go to work. Well now, Siri can suggest right on your lock screen that you do that. You tap on it, and you can place the order right from there. Or if when you get to the gym, you use Aptive to track workouts, well, that suggestion will appear right on your lock screen. And this even works when you pull down into search. You'll get great suggestions, like say you're running late for a meeting, well, Siri will suggest you text the meeting organizer. Or when you go to the movie, suggest that you turn on Do Not Disturb. That's just being considerate. And remind you to call grandma on her birthday. Just tap, and it'll dial the call for you. Now, we think we're all going to really enjoy using shortcuts. And so we went a step further. We wanted to let you create your own shortcuts as users by, of multiple steps across multiple applications. And we're doing it with a new Shortcuts app. So with the Shortcuts app, you could do something like create a, a shortcut for surf time. And it could go get you the surf report, look up the current weather, get you the ETA to the beach, and even create a reminder for you to put on sunscreen when you get there. Now, it's all done with simple drag and drop Thank steps you, in the Shortcuts editor right here. I don't know it's really it's easy. Right now. now, to show you how Shortcuts can streamline your day, I'd like to invite one of our leaders from our Siri oh, Shortcuts project, Kim Beverett, to the stage to give you a live demo. Kim. Hey. I am so stoked to show you Siri Shortcuts. To do that, I'm gonna walk you through my day. So imagine it's the morning, I'm headed to work, and I pick up my phone, and I see this suggestion from Phil's Coffee. Siri has learned that I do this most mornings, so now I can just tap on the suggestion, and I see all the details I need to confirm my perfect mint mojito right here on the lock screen without even going into the app. So let's get caffeinated, and I'm done. Fast forward a little bit, and I'm sitting at my desk at my office, and I need to know when my next meeting is. I'll go to the Up Next widget, and it looks like I am running a little late for a rather important meeting, so I should probably let someone know. And it looks like Shortcuts is a few steps ahead of me. I could call into the meeting, I or know. I could let the Start organizer working. know that I'm running late. Shout I should probably Adrian tell Ari what's up. Shout out to Ace that Slayer looks like just what I want to say. Sorry, Ari. Let's send Shout it. Shout out to Son of Former Knights. Perfect. I also want to sh show you how you can add a shortcut to Siri. So let's take a look at Kayak. I keep all of my travel details in Kayak. Most important is my post of WDC relaxation trip to Los Angeles. You can see I've got my flight, my hotel, all the details, everything I need. But what I really want is to be able to use this and get to this information with my voice Guys, while I'm, I'm on the go. So let's head back. And I can just tap Add to Siri. Record my Supposed custom phrase. Let's see. Travel plans. I want to know if they're gonna be a dark I'm mode done. for iOS. So now, when I land I'm at the really airport and I'm about, about to get in the cab, and I could really use that hotel address, I can just say. Shout out to my moderator, plans. Eric. Kayak says your World hotel is at 929 South Broadway. You can check in after 3 p.m. Isn't that cool? It's pretty cool. So I would love to be on that vacation, but I should, I don't know, probably finish this demo. So let's head back to work, and I can show you how the Shortcuts app can help me with my commute home. We start in the gallery, where there's hundreds of pre-made shortcuts that you can download, or we can hop over to the library, and I've got a bunch of shortcuts here, but I want to show you my heading home shortcut. You can see that it's just really a series of steps. It grabs my location and my travel time, and it sends my ETA to my roommate. It sets my HomeKit thermostat to 70 degrees, and it turns on my fan. 
And last, it gets directions home with Apple Maps with the best route to avoid traffic. Your lunch in now, the this is already right pretty cool, Big shout but out I happen to, to be man. an NPR news junkie, so I should probably just add that to my shortcut to save me some trouble on the ride home. Let's tap you search. Know after this and there's a Fortnite. bunch I can add here, but I can just tap series suggestions. And yep. there it is, play KQED radio, drag this in, drop it, and we're set. I've already added this shortcut to Siri with the custom phrase heading home. So now, whenever I leave work, I can just say heading home. You will get there in one hour. I sent a message to Cheryl. Your thermostat is set to 70 degrees, and I turned on the fan, playing KQED radio. Right? That's it. That's it. Shortcuts and iOS 12. Thank you so much. That's it. I like that. Yeah. Because I said, I like that. And that's Siri Shortcuts. It works on iPhone and iPad. And of course, you can run your shortcuts from your HomePod and your Apple Watch. That's your quick update on Siri. Next, let's talk about apps. And to tell you about the latest, I'm going to hand it off to Susan. Susan. Hello. Thanks, Craig. And it is so up, great Susan? to be here. I'm excited to tell you about some great updates in some of our most popular apps, okay. starting with one of my favorites, News. News app. So, <clears throat> News is yeah, a personalized feed where you can see all the stories you want to read pulled together from trusted sources. And our top stories are handpicked by the Apple News editorial team uh, to, to make a, a great collection yes, guys, of curated content. You're headed home. With our you new browse lights, tab, turn on your you can discover new channels and Pornhub, topics, and, and we've made it go. even easier to dump, jump to your favorites, because that's why they're your favorites, right? News shines on the iPad. Tell Siri I'm going we've home. added a new sidebar, and Fortnite. it's a great way to navigate. It makes it easy, and I think fun, I like that. to dig into the areas like you're most see. interested in. So I that's like that. news. Now, we've completely rebuilt the Stocks app, and it's got a beautiful new design. Of course, you can still see the stock prices and the changes at a glance, but we've added spark lines, those little charts, that show the stock performance throughout the day. And that's cool. But are you ready? We are so excited to announce we're bringing Apple News to stocks. Wow. Woo. I'm really excited about that. And the top stories in Another. stocks features business news, right? Curated by the Apple News editors. It's pretty terrific. You can tap on any stock to get a more detailed view, so you can see an interactive chart that now includes after-hours pricing. And you see relevant headlines game, uh, from Apple I'm News streaming. curated by After our this, Apple I'm News editor. So it looks great. And if you tap Fortnite on one of those stream. headlines, you'll see the full article without leaving the app. And of course, it's formatted to look gorgeous on the iPhone. Now, with iOS 12, One we're bringing stocks to iPad. Stocks to iPad. Bring Instagram to iPad. It's pretty great, and we take That's advantage of the cool. larger display, so you can keep your eye on your stocks on the left while you browse through your financial news. It's a pretty great experience. Next up, voice memos. We've also completely rebuilt voice memos to make it even like easier to use. And... We're bringing voice memos to the iPad for the first time. Importantly, we've also added iCloud support, so your recordings stay in sync across all your devices. We think iPad users are just going to love this. And we think that yes, iBooks is the best the way to discover right and experience now. eBooks as well as audiobooks. And with iOS 12, we're inducing an all new design. And we think the update is Shout so great, George. we're calling it Apple Books, a new name. Very dramatic. We dropped the eye. 
Let me know if the audio is better now, guys. Um, Apple Books has some great new features. For example, reading now. Apple With a preview books. that makes it really easy for Amazing. you to pick up reading Phenomenal. right where you left off. And there's so much more, including a stunning new store that makes browsing through your ebooks and audiobooks better than ever. We love these updates and we think you will too. But we also have a smart and safe way to use your apps in the car. I think you know I'm talking about CarPlay. Guys, do I CarPlay look already supports third-party audio and voice messaging, uh, you know, voice calling and messaging apps. You probably know that. But what you might not know oh, okay. is with iOS 12, CarPlay will also support third-party navigation apps. Yeah. So now you have even more choices when you use CarPlay. That is a really quick look at some of our app dates. And Craig, back to you. Thank you, Susan. Well, now I'd like to take a moment to talk about something that's on a lot of people's minds lately. Dark mode. You know, iPhone and iPad are some of the most powerful tools ever created for learning, exploring, and keeping in touch. But some apps demand more of our attention than we might even realize. They beg us to use our phone when we really should be occupying ourselves with something else. They send us flurries of notifications, trying to draw us in for fear of missing out. And some of us, it's become such a habit that you know we might not even recognize just how distracted we've become. Well, we've thought deeply about this. And today, we're announcing a comprehensive set of built-in features to help you limit distraction, focus, and understand how you're spending your time and balance the many things that are important to you. Now, it starts with do not disturb. What's up, guys? There, there are times of the day, Mike, or times when you just don't want to be disturbed. And one of those, of course, is at night. Sometimes you wake up in the middle of the night and you look at your phone, maybe just to check the time, and you're confronted with something like this. A barrage of notifications that spin you up and keep you from falling back asleep. And so we're introducing Do Not Disturb During Bedtime, where all you'll see is this, nothing to get you spun up. And in the morning, yeah. In the morning when you wake up, you're gently Best eased into your day. You can tap when you want to start confronting those notifications. <laughs> now, we've all found ourselves in situations like this. <laughs> now, rest assured, he stuck the landing on this one. Uh, but now, Do Not Disturb can help. And we've made it easier than ever to use Do Not Disturb because now we have a great new mode where when you press into Do Not Disturb and Control Center, you can set an ending time Mike for Do Not Disturb for when you leave a particular location or when an event ends on your calendar. So I think we're all going to be using Do Not Disturb a bunch more. Now, n next I want to talk about notifications. Now, notifications help keep us informed and connected to important things that happen throughout the day. And we'd, we'd like to give you more control over how many notifications you receive. And so we're enabling what we call instant tuning Is for notifications right from the lock screen. You can press in to a notification, and from there you can decide we to send future notifications, notifications from that though. app directly to Notification Center, bypassing no your lock screen. Or turn them off altogether. And Siri no will way. even help by suggesting that you turn off notifications for apps that you're no longer using. Now, we also wanted to give you help managing large numbers of notifications. So I'm thrilled to announce that we're bringing to iOS Group. support for grouped notifications. Wow. 10 years. Amazing. I like that. Notifications are grouped not just by app, energy. but also by topic and thread. Melody. It gives you oh a great overview of the notifications you've received. Ten you can tap years. in and look at a particular group. But of course, ten just years. as important, with a single swipe, you can triage a whole group of notifications away. So that's notifications. 10 years out of 10. That's big. Now, in addition to these great features for helping oh you God. limit distractions, we wanted to go further. And it's with a feature we call Screen Time. Screen Time empowers you 
with both insight and control over how you spend your time. And it starts with reports. Every week, you get a weekly activity summary that details how you used your like iPhone that. or iPad. You tap in and you get to view your full activity report. I like that. It's really detailed. You get deep insight on how much time you're spending, where you're spending it, and like even that. how your use breaks down during the day uh, or the night. You get a summary of the time you're spending in apps, of course, how much Facebook time you're spending, time. how often per hour you're picking up your phone and what's drawing you in, and what apps are sending you the most notifications. Now, equipped with this insight, you can make decisions about how much time you want to spend with your device each day. But we know there are people who would like a little extra help in managing their use of apps. And for them, we've created app limits. So if in your activity report, you see an app where you might want to be spending a little bit less time, well, you can set your own limit. And then during the day, when you're using the app, you'll receive a helpful notification letting you know time is almost up. <laughs> Ah, that's funny. Five minutes for IG, no way. And once you've reached your limit, Let's instead go. of the app, you'll see this. Oh, it's time to move on. Now, we'll let you grant yourself an extension if you want, but we'll give you a reminder later to move along. Now, this is also in sync across your iPhone and iPad, so your limits apply to your total usage. And we think this is going to be helpful for many people but especially for some kids. And we know this is something that can help families achieve the right balance for them. And of course it starts with providing your kids with great information so they get an activity report of their own, but as a parent, you get one as well on your device. And based on what you see, you have the option of creating allowances. And <laughs> Now, you have many options. One of them is downtime, time when you want your kids to unplug altogether, for instance, at bedtime. And you can also limit uh, your kids' time in apps by category or by individual app. Now, there's some apps you may want to always allow them to use. For instance, you may want them to be able to get at the phone at all, the t all times yeah, so they can like, contact you. You I mean, may want to give them good, access to educational like apps. And time, you can also limit access to only movies, apps, and websites that you deem really age-appropriate. Now, this works, of course, across their iPhone and, and iPad. And it uses family sharing, so it's like super 20, easy to set up. 30, and you can minutes, manage it all remotely from your parent you know? parental device. And so that are some, are some great, uh, screen time ah, and some great features to help Alex, you better manage your time. Now, next, I'd like to talk about one of the most important uses of our devices, and that's communication. And we'll start with messages. Messages has given us fun ways to express ourselves with emoji and now animoji. And one of the things that make animoji so fun is how expressive they are, you know, from smiles to frowns to nods of the head and blinking of the eye. Animoji do such an amazing job Nobody tracking our expressions. It. And this Trash. year, we're taking animoji to a whole new level, the breakthrough new technology we call tongue detection. <laughs> wow. wow. That's right. Now you can make your favorite animoji do this. <laughs> We're all going to be sticking out our tongues to our phones in the near future. Wow. Now, we've also, we're also introducing some great new animoji that I think you're all going to love, like ghost, koala, tiger, and T-Rex. <laughs> but we wanted to take animoji even further by making them even more personal. So I'm thrilled today to announce the arrival of the era of Memoji. Yes, I like that. With, I like that's that. right. With Memoji, you can create your very own personalized like that. Animoji. That's lit. That's lit. Now, Yo, in the chair, these Animoji no, can look lit. like you or the real you. 
And we've worked hard to build a deep set yeah, of customization options to let our customers create an incredibly diverse set of Memoji. It's really incredible what you can create. And we've designed a beautiful new experience to create these like Memoji it. that makes the process fun and easy. Now, to tell you more about it, I'd like to invite one of the managers of our messages and Animoji features, Kelsey no, Peterson, like, to give no, you a live demo. Kelsey. Good morning. I like it. I cannot wait to tell you what's new with messages. Let's get started with Animoji. First, you need to meet the newest members of the team. We've got a new cat in town, our tiger. She's so cute. And now, my personal favorite, the koala. You look like a koala. I'm just, just getting excited, scrolling through here. They can't all be cute and cuddly, though. So here's our T-Rex. And we have our very own friendly little ghost. So much fun. And if I swipe right, Here's where I can create my very own Memoji. Let me show you just how easy it is. I recently chopped my hair, so I want one that matches the new me. So I've selected a skin color, and now I'm trying to figure out just the right amount of freckles. It's a real Goldilocks scenario. Yeah, these are just right. Okay, on to the main event. There are so many hairstyles to choose from. First, I'm gonna grab my color, and then like I said, I need to go a little bit shorter. All right, mm, nope, this is the one. Now that I'm all set, I can of course select my eye color. And what's really amazing is as I'm making changes, the character up above is coming to life. There are tons of options for me to customize. I could add earrings, but what I really want is a great pair of sunnies. So I'm gonna come over to eyewear and pick out some frames. Hmm, maybe not for today. I think I need two lenses. These are the ones. Now that I have frames, I'm gonna tint my lenses to make a great pair of sunglasses. Sick. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I think I'm all set. I'll tap done, Memoji which saves my brandly created Memoji right here into the drawer alongside the rest of my team. And know. that's how simple it Kristen. is to create your very own Memoji. Now I have a brand new feature to introduce you to. This wasn't even in Craig's slides. We are bringing fun effects into the messages camera. Let's take a look. I have a message here from my partner. It looks like he's informing me that he's bought our dog, Ferdinand, yet another tiny dog hat. This isn't even the first. I think this is the perfect opportunity for a response with this new fun camera. So I'll tap to pull up the camera, really and then I can see this little star over here on the left. Tapping on that gives me a strip with all sorts of new effects. So I could add things like shapes or text, but let's check out these filters. Ooh, so this is comic book. It's really fun, but for a response about a tiny dog hat, I think I'm gonna go in a different artistic direction. So what I really need to do is add a sticker from one of my favorite sticker packs. Ferdy looked really excited about that new dog hat, so I'm gonna put him right here. And now we have an all new way for you to use Animoji. I can apply my favorite Animoji right here, live. Here's the Memoji I just created, but I actually have just the one. It's of me in a very similar red hat which is kind of perfect for twinning with my pup. So I'm gonna set up my shot, snap, and send. And that's a demo of the fun new effects and messages. Back to you, Craig.
So that's Memoji and some fun new effects in the camera and messages. Uh. Next, let's talk about FaceTime. Uh. Yeah. FaceTime is the way that so many of us connect with the people in our lives and share some of our most doing? important moments. Uh, and it's helped us deepen our you. connection with people important to us wherever they are. Yes. And of course, it's a fun place just to hang out. Now, this year, FaceTime is going to take a big leap forward because today we're introducing Group FaceTime. Group FaceTime. Group FaceTime. Now, you'll I like be able that. to FaceTime with two people, three people, actually up to 32 simultaneous participants. Setting up a group call couldn't be easier. Just instead of typing one person's name, you can do many. You can ring like them by tapping that. audio you or video. But we also introduced a great new way because it's FaceTime old. is now it's integrated old. into messages. So you can old. quickly go from a group chat you have going directly in to a group FaceTime. It's and old. members of the group can join in and drop out at any time. That's lit. It's really great. Would you like to see it? Yes. Well, let's do a demo. Oh, well, I think for our first live demo of group FaceTime, I'm going to uh, contact the folks back in Cupertino. Now I can just dive in to this conversation I have going with the members of the FaceTime team. And it looks like actually they're already on a group thing. FaceTime call, so I'm just going to join right in. This is useful. I want to see how this works. Let's see. Hey, everybody. Hey, 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 hey. hey. Now check it out. So it's this beautiful FaceTime UI. We have these big, gorgeous tiles right up front where you see some of the leaders of the FaceTime team. And down at the bottom, there's an area we call the roster that contains everybody else. And of course, I'm right there in the lower right-hand corner. Hey, Craig. Wait, am I on a big screen? <laughs> yes, Lauren, this is not a test. You're in front of 6,000 of your biggest new fans. <laughs> Now, what you probably notice is when Lauren spoke, her tile automatically got larger to reflect her prominence in the conversation. This is totally automatic. Uh, hey, Roberto, how's it going back there in Cupertino? I'd say it's going pretty well. And uh, Lauren, sorry for stealing your spotlight. <laughs> so this works, of course, for people in the roster as well. When they speak, they come forward. Uh, hey, Christopher, you ready to make your big entrance? Finally, my moment has come. Hello, world. <laughs> now, well done. That's now, it. you can control this, too. So if I want to bring Woody front and center, I just double tap. There he is. Now, <laughs> Woody, your baby is performing admirably here. Thanks, Craig. It's exciting to finally be able to share group FaceTime with everyone. It sure is. Now. We have not only all of this, but we've also brought the fun effects to the FaceTime camera. I can just tap in and I have access to an emoji, filters, and all of my sticker packs. And everyone else on the call can apply them too. Apple. Wow, now hey. this is the future. Of course, Apple hey Craig, check this out. I'm a comic book koala, something I've always wanted to be. <laughs> I'm glad you've finally been able to express that side of yourself, Roberto. Hey, Tim, is that you? Yeah, it's me. I signed up to help test FaceTime. <laughs> All right. Well, well, thank you, Tim. Every little bit counts. Happy to help, and thanks to everyone on the FaceTime team for making it a reality. I can't wait to start using it every Sunday night to call the leadership team. <laughs> Looking forward to that, Tim. Of course, what I'm really looking forward to is getting group FaceTime to everyone on iOS 12. Thanks, guys, for a fantastic call. We'll see you back in Cupertino. Bye, Greg. Bye, Greg. So that's group FaceTime. It works on iPhone, iPad, and Mac. And you can even answer an audio on your wrist on your Apple Watch. So that's FaceTime and messages. And this is iOS 12. Improved performance, new AR experiences, Siri suggestions, screen time, 
Memoji and fun effects in the messages camera, and group FaceTime. I hope you like it. I'm going to hand it back to Tim. Thank you. I like that. Thank you, Craig. iOS 12 looks fantastic, and we can't wait for everyone to get their hands on it. Next up, we'd like to talk about the Apple Watch. Yeah. When we began development of the watch many years ago, we had a vision for just how impactful and essential it can become be in our lives. Oh, so we worked very hard to oh. create something that you would love and want to wear all the time. And customers do love it. In You're fact, well. Apple Watch is number one in customer you. satisfaction. And, and not just this year, but every single year since we launched in 2015. And growth has been off the charts. Apple Watch grew 60% last year. We're constantly Let's hearing from like customers like about the many peak. ways that the Apple Let's Watch has changed their lives. Right now. And I'd like to In share just one of them with you this morning. Let's get 30 likes right Mary now. Mary Dodgen was likes. voting with like her husband, right John. Let's when get due that to like a medical recording. condition, all of John's muscles Let's went get completely that like limp, on. and he fell into the ice-cold water. With her arms wrapped around John to keep him from drowning, Mary could not reach her phone to call for help. But with her Apple Watch... She was able to call Siri, or to, to use Siri to call 911. Rescuers soon arrived and saved John's life. As, as Mary told us, if it wasn't for my Apple Watch, he really would not be here today. Let's go. This is just one likes. of the many stories that we've heard about Two about how Apple right Watch now. is impacting people's lives. Of course, we're they still range from break. getting okay. people to be Nobody more active, to jailbreak. helping we're users uh, live a healthier life, or even to alerting users to an elevated heart rate. Apple Watch brings such amazing capabilities Nobody right to the wrist. And of course, at the baby. heart of this is Watch OS. We're excited to introduce Watch OS 5 today, which brings even more ways for you to stay active and connected. And I'd like to hand it off to Kevin Lynch to tell you all about it. Kevin? Good morning. You know, stories like that about how Apple Watch is supporting people around the world in even extreme situations like Mary and John's, but also in their daily lives is really it's super motivating to us as a team. A and there are things you do every day that shape your life. And Apple Watch lit, has two key areas it's working lit. to help you support those activities every day. First, staying active to increase your well-being and health. And second, being connected to the people and the information that you care most about. We're moving WatchOS forward in both of these areas. Let's start with health and fitness. Now, much of the power in the health and fitness Depends. features that we put in Watch are really empowered by the investment we do to make sure the data you see is accurate. The data from our custom-built heart rate sensor, accelerometer, gyro, GPS are all thoroughly validated. In fact, from our fitness lab, we've studied over 6 terabytes of data, where 12,000 study participants logged over 90,000 hours of sessions. They actually burned 2.3 million calories doing this. We believe this is the largest biometric data collection of its kind. And we take this information and we work, work to integrate this seamlessly with the user experience. So when you raise your wrist and you look at your activity rings, the information is not only accurate, but it's also meaningful to you. And we really love hearing about your focus on closing these rings. And we really enable this through a number of ways in Apple Watch. First, of course, we do daily coaching so you can see what your goals are for the day. We also support celebrations when you achieve your goals. And we have special edition challenges, like the most recent Earth Day challenge that we did. And on a monthly basis, we, we do monthly goals that are personalized to you. And of course, the Activity app also supports activity sharing, which has become one of the most popular features of the Activity app. Many of you love the excitement of good old-fashioned competition, though. So in WatchOS 5, you can challenge any of your activity sharing friends to a seven-day competition whenever you would like. And if they accept, you each try to win the week by closing your rings and earning points. You earn one point for each percent of a ring that you close. 
And while you're in the middle of a competition, your progress notifications are updated to not only show you the progress your friend's making, but also where you stand in the competition. And when you win, you receive a new award. We're really excited about this edition, and if you're competitive, it gives you a whole new way to enjoy the activity app. Now, when you're doing... Now, when you do want to go do a workout, there's a lot of workout types you can choose from. And they all have custom algorithms to measure things like calorie burn, pace, distance, elevation gain. And when you're swimming, it even counts laps and detects what swim strokes you're using. And with Gym Kit, your metrics are in sync with your favorite gym equipment. And we're really excited to bring more enhancements to workouts in WatchOS 5, starting with a new workout type for yoga. Now, this works primarily from your heart rate. And we calibrate this to your fitness level through the rest of your day. So now you can more accurately track those yoga sessions, including those intense vinyasa sessions. Now, we've also added a new workout type for hiking. This takes into account pace and heart rate and elevation gain, so you can more accurately get exercise credit while you're hiking in steep terrain or really long stages. <laughs> and Apple Watch has become a really great running companion, especially now that we've added GPS and cellular and music streaming. We're making this an even better experience now for training runs and races. In addition to current and average pace, you now have the option to keep track of your rolling mile pace, Boring. which is how fast you ran the immediately preceding mile. You can also now set a custom pace alert, so your Apple Watch will tap you when you're above or below the pace that you've set. And finally, runners will now get cadence, so you can see your current steps per minute. We're really excited for runners to try these out. Now, Now, there's sometimes when you forget to start a workout on watch, but you've started working out. And to solve this now, we're adding automatic workout detection. So your Apple Watch will now offer to start tracking a workout if it senses that you're beginning one. And even if you press start sometime after you began working out, you'll get retroactive credit for the workouts that you did. And these start alerts will support all these great workouts on Apple Watch. Now, when you reduce the intensity of your movement or your heart rate decreases, but you forget to end your workout, of course, Watch will also detect that and suggest that you stop. Not for me, man. So, all these new features, activity competitions, the new yoga and hiking workout, new features for runners and automatic workout detection, are all enabling you to more accurately track your workouts and stay motivated while you do. Now let's talk about being connected. Apple Watch enables you to remain in the moment while also easily connected to the people and information that you care about. And the introduction of cellular made this even better. You can stay connected even when you're going out for an evening, running some errands, or even going for a swim. Or stay in touch when your phone might not be easily available to you. And staying connected with people you love is something that our customers stream. love about Apple Thank Watch. You. you can easily make or receive a phone Thanks call. Like you can hear the emotion and tone on the other end of the voice the as you chair, talk in, in real Thank time. You so much for that or like you can use messages today. to have impromptu, short conversations with loved ones in a message thread. In WatchOS 5, you'll have an entirely new way to communicate on yeah, your watch. That's real-time voice guys, with the spontaneity I'm of short right messaging. Now. I'm sleeping. Did you steal my chips? Maybe. <laughs> I cannot wait till you go to college. <laughs> Introducing Walkie Talkie. Walkie Talkie. This is a new app on Apple Watch. It's a fun, easy way to talk with friends and family. Let's take a look at how it works. First, you choose who you'd like to enable Walkie Talkie with, and it suggests some people that you often communicate with, so you Just can easily add them. them. Now, the first time that you do this, your friend will receive a one-time request to allow a walkie-talkie connection with you. If they, if they accept, then you can speak to each other with walkie-talkie whenever you like. And to do this, you just press to talk, and then your friend can hear your voice just like a walkie-talkie. And they're going to feel a haptic and hear a beep-beep sound right before your voice comes out. And this new watch-to-watch -watch connection works over cellular or, or Wi-Fi and has really high audio quality. And it's a lot of fun. We can't wait for you to try this out. That's walkie-talkie. Now, last year, we introduced a Siri watch face, which presents the right information to you at the right time. 
And Siri does this using machine learning. So it's going to get better at predicting your actions over time by combining inputs like the time of day, your location, your daily routines, or which apps you use yeah. when. We're making some great enhancements to the Siri watch face now. First, we're adding yes, new content. So now you can get live sports scores, you can get commute time, home, really or to work, boring, or you can so see your heart rate, for example, after a workout life, or your resting heart rate. That's all I could see. And we're also adding Siri shortcuts. Those shortcuts you saw coming to iOS 12 are also going to be available in watchOS. So in addition to getting relevant information, you'll also receive predicted shortcuts right on the Siri watch face. So at a wrist raise, you'll be able to directly do things like turn on your leaving home scene, or start an outdoor walk, or play your favorite morning playlist. And these shortcuts appear based on uh, whether you typically do those actions at those times. So super easy now to just tap and do those actions. Also for the first time, you can now use third-party apps on the Siri watch face. So now you can see both relevant content and shortcuts from your favorite apps. So if you always go running with Nike Plus Run Club at a certain time, or you're logging your meals with Lose It, or you use City Mapper to find your commute home, you just raise your wrist and tap. It's that easy. So new content, support for shortcuts, and third-party apps making for an even more powerful Siri watch face. Now currently to talk to Siri, you raise your wrist and you say, hey Siri. And when you think about this, it's quite a strong signal when you raise your wrist and talk to your watch. It's kind of like when someone's standing right in front of you. You don't need to say, hey, because you have their attention already. So we're bringing this same social cue to Siri on the watch. So you no longer need to say, hey, Siri. You just raise your wrist and talk to Siri. I like that. Where's my Apple? I don't know if you use my Apple stream. Now we're also bringing a number of improvements to notifications, which are now more actionable and interactive. So, for example, with this notification from Qantas, you can check in and share your flight details right from the notification. After you finish a ride with Didi, you can scroll down, you can rate your ride and pay with Apple Pay right there in the notification. And with this one from Yelp, that your table is ready, if you need a bit more time, you can extend the reservation out a bit just by tapping here. So super easy now to interact right in place inside notifications. We've also improved our message notifications. Today, if someone sends you a web link, you aren't able to view it on your wrist. With watchOS 5, we've integrated WebKit, so now you have the ability to view web content in mail or messages. You can even tap on that link. Yes, and to easily view things like menus here. And while we think full browsing doesn't make sense on your wrist, there are times you get content, you'd like to see it right in the moment, and now you'll be able to do that in watchOS 5. And the contents can be formatted for the small screen, and where reader mode's available, it uses that on the watch. So, WebKit on watchOS. WebKit. That's nice. Now, with watchOS 4, we introduced an entirely new way to listen to music while you're on the go. You can stream 48 million songs on your wrist with Apple Music, or you can listen to automatically synced and curated playlists. And now, with watchOS 5, we're giving you even more to listen to. That's right. The Apple Podcasts app is coming to Apple Watch. Upcoming episodes from subscribed podcasts will be automatically synced to your watch, so you can get them right there. Or you can just ask Siri to stream a podcast for you, and it'll start playing. And playback resumes across all your devices, so you can continue just where you left off. So that's podcasts. Now, those are the great new features coming in watchOS 5 to stay connected with people and information that you care most about. Interactive notifications, web content, new content and shortcuts in the Siri face, podcasts, and of course, walkie-talkie. Now, we'd like to show you this stuff live in action, and we thought we'd increase the challenge a bit in our live demo here today to keep it interesting. So Jules, who helps lead our fitness experiences, is actually going to do the demo while biking. <laughs> So Jules has expertise in coaching, and she knows how to move and demonstrate and motivate all at the same time. Take it away, Jules. Thank you, Kevin. I've got some great stuff to show you that I think you're really going to love. And uh, bonus is I get to work on closing my rings while I do it. So first, I'm super excited to show you how easy it is to start a workout with Gym Kit. I just tap to connect and accept on the watch. And now I can control and start the workout right here from the console on the bike. All of my data between the watch and the bike is in sync, and all of my workout metrics are accurate. 
Now, I wouldn't typically be trying to demo things for you and sneak in a workout at the same time, but I want to show you activity competitions. And to do that, I need to keep moving. This morning, I got this notification, and it says, your competition with Jay is down to the last day, and it's a close one. Have you got what it takes to win? Have I got what it takes? You bet I do. <laughs> but if I scroll down, I can see that Jay has moved ahead of me by a couple of points, and that's not okay, because this thing ends tonight. So I think I'm going to add a little resistance to this workout here and work to earn as many points as possible and move ahead of Jay by the time this demo's done. I can simply tap here and send him a little smack talk to let him know I'm coming for him. <laughs> let me show you interactive notifications because I have dinner reservations tonight that I made through Yelp. If all goes well here, I'm going to go out with my girlfriends from work to celebrate. And because we all know that Jay's going to lose this competition, Maybe I should invite him along so it can be his treat. Now I can simply add to the number of guests and confirm right here in the app without ever having to open it. It's that simple. Now in watchOS 5, notifications from apps are smartly grouped together. And here are a couple messages from my friend Catherine. We're trying to get to a yoga retreat this summer. And it looks like she sent me a link. Now, I can tap it here and see if she's found somewhere great for us to go. Oh yeah, this looks beautiful. I'm already in. But I could continue to scroll through the site, maybe read a little bit more about the retreat, even check the dates to make sure that they work. And I can do all that right here from my wrist. To be honest, no one's gonna use it. Let me show you the enhancements that we've made to the new Siri watch face. At the top here, you see the workout that I'm in right now. And when I'm ready to get back to it, I can just tap. Next up is Glow Baby, because it's about this time each day that I check the app to see if my husband has logged our one-year-old's nap. Oh, good job, baby. He slept two hours. And you parents know that good naps equal good nights, so I'm looking forward to that. All right. As I scroll through my day, I can see my next meeting. I can see traffic and directions to places that I'm going later today. Here's that dinner that Siri found in my calendar. And waiting no for me at the end of my day is a shortcut one. to my Just evening meditation or 10% happier. Nice. Now, I want to check back in on this competition, but I thought it might be a good idea to get a little moral support from my number one fan. And you heard Kevin say how walkie-talkie is so great for staying in touch with close friends and family. So I set my daughter up with walkie-talkie so that she can help demo what it's like to receive one and maybe give me a little bit of love up here. Oh, there she is. Mommy, I see you on TV. Isn't that fun? How am I doing? So good. I know you'll beat Uncle Jay. Hashtag mommy for the win. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Peach. I love you. Talkie works. All right, the time is now to bit. check in on this competition and see if I have done enough to pull ahead. I'm going to tap into activity and swipe over to see the score. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry, Jay, but the day is still young. Thanks, everybody, and back to you, Kevin. Yeah, yeah. It's so cool how to get this in your court. The Apple Watch. Way to go, Jules. So in watchOS 5, we've enabled even deeper integration on the watch for apps, enabling them to work right in the moment. And apps can include interactive controls within notifications, um, so you can quickly do more without even opening an app, like extend your parking with yeah, pay-by-phone. With shortcuts, there's also new opportunities for third-party apps to appear on Apple chair, Watch right on the watch face. You can tap on a shortcut in the Siri face to order coffee, rent a bike, or pick up where you left off in a workout. Of course, you can even use your I'm custom Siri commands that you created on your tomorrow. phone to speak on your watch. And for if native apps jailbreak, building rich experiences, no, we've improved the tomorrow, workout API for greater performance, and we've added the ability the for third-party apps to play tomorrow. background audio. 
This enables you to easily sync things, of course, like audiobooks, really favorite playlists, Jerry guided meditations, right to your watch, because, I mean, and you'll be able to play continuously in the background. I have all the best now, there's so many other features setups. coming in watchOS, including things like the ability to customize the, the button arrangement parts. in your control yeah, you know center, you or you can add an air quality complication to your watch face. But one really exciting one is student ID cards. You're going to have the ability to add your student ID card to wallet on your iPhone and Apple Watch. You can, this works by simply holding your watch near a reader. Anywhere you can use your student ID cards on and off campus, you can get access to places to like your dorm trash, or the library or events on campus. You can even pay for things like snacks or laundry or dinners. And this works with your watch or your phone, and it will be available this fall starting with these universities and will expand to more campuses over time. Now, this is also Pride Month, and we're really excited to introduce an all-new Pride Edition watch band. And we didn't stop there. We made Hello. a beautiful new face that matches perfectly with the Hello. band. Mic test, one, two, three. That's just some of what's coming in WatchOS 5. Mic Thank test. Thank you, Kevin. WatchOS watch just keeps getting better and better. And we're excited for you to try Is it good enough? great new features to help you stay more active and connected. Next up is Apple TV. Is it good enough? Last September, we introduced Apple TV 4K, and our customers love it. Since its introduction, the Apple TV business has grown an incredible 50%. Let me know if it's good, stream. Today, we've got some great new enhancements to Apple TV 4K and TVOS, and we think you're going to love them. So I'd like to invite Apple TV lead designer Jen Foltz to the stage to tell you all about it. Jen? I tried my best. I don't know if I did it. All right, shout out to Eric. My mod in the stream. I love seeing mods in the stream. It makes me happy. TVOS is built specifically for the living room to make it easy to enjoy your favorite TV shows, movies, apps, and games. Oh my God, TVOS is so boring. Guys, do you think we're going to get dark mode? I really want to see dark mode right now. quality cinematic experience right to your home. It offers both 4K and high dynamic range. Including if you're new, drop a like in the stream. We have 38 likes and we have 36 Time people watching right now. That's TV crazy. That's all I like to see. And to ensure you can enjoy Shout out to all the haters who disliked the video too. I really as appreciate much content it. As possible. I like iTunes that. offers the largest collection of 4K HDR movies. Of course, it could be a mod, bro. Your previously purchased movies to 4K Let me see if I could add, add you as a mod right now. Titles. There are also Shout out to the two mods in the stream. Amazing. And HDR you guys are the only mods I have. Available from popular services like Amazon Prime Video and Netflix. And we know what makes for an amazing cinematic Accurate experience. Accurate Gamers has been, not just Gamers has been in the stream for a long it's while. He's a loyal. Sound. So Apple TV 4K is bringing you the latest in audio technology. Dolby Atmos. Only With old people Atmos, get excited you over get room Dolby Atmos. Sound, the perfect complement really? to the stunning visuals of Apple What's TV up? 4K. What's up, Sono? Now, what makes Atmos so special? Is that unlike a I traditional see dark mode. Give me dark mode, please. channels like the left or the right, Dolby Atmos has the ability to completely immerse you. It's not that easy to be on mod. Accurate Games has been in space, from the start, from way back since last year. I only have two mods on this channel. Reaction. It's Eric and Accurate Games. Eric was the first mod that I ever had. He's been a loyal, and Accurate Games has been in the stream for a very long time since I was doing jailbreak videos and everything. So it's not that easy to get a mod. Everything 
and this fall, I it's choose never, to be bringing not that you easy. the largest too much collection of Atmos content anywhere. And just like with 4K HDR, your iTunes libraries will be upgraded. Ashane, Dolby Atmos Ashane is a loyal too, but for free. he's a big troll. He's like the opposite of me. Supports now, Barcelona. Movies and doesn't so use PS4. Doesn't use app. iPhones. Yo. The Apple TV app is the center of your video experience. A single place to find and watch what you love across your favorite apps. It's on Apple TV, iPad, and iPhone, where you can find not only on-demand TV shows and movies, but also live content, including sports. The Apple TV app now offers a huge range of live sports. And we've added live Yo. news to make it even easier to stay current. A Slayer, do you want to play Fortnite? I have a PC, I can play on PC, and you just add me on Epic Games. Video channels, Chevy underscore Gaza. I could try playing on PC. So I could play With together, this, bro. Apple TV is the best box to connect to your TV. I use Apple TV, I have an Apple That's TV. It's ever. basically just like an Xbox or a PS4, to be honest. Fundamentally but you yeah, have 4K HDR, so... That's this pretty cool. This typical cable box is becoming a yeah, thing of the past. It's really boring. As these companies embrace internet. This is so delivery. boring right now. And I, many of them I don't know how you guys are still in the stream. TV as the one I'm about to play some Fortnite right now. On demand and cloud DVR content. And we've already Shit, I'm about to play some Fortnite. I'm just waiting to, to see if we get dark mode, guys. In France, That's all I'm looking for now. I'm really excited for dark mode. Subscribe to Canal Services. And their subscribers can now choose Apple nice. TV to access have, more like, than 300 live channels. And some of the biggest sports, including the French Open in 4K. I'd give the Apple in presentation a 6 salt. out of 10, to salt be honest. just launched a new TV service with more than 300 live TV channels. And it's available exclusively Shout out to Makisha Simpson for being here since and last year. And I'm really year. excited to announce that here in the U.S., Charter Spectrum will be coming to Apple TV late this year. Yeah, this is really boring right now. I'm just staying because I think we're going to get dark mode for iOS 12. That and if we get dark mode, it's going from a 6 out of 10 to, to a 10 out of 10. All That's all I'm going to say, to a 10 out of 10. Of Let's go. And they'll be able to use Siri and the TV app to get access to their TV service, not only on Apple TV, but on iPhone and iPad as well. Now, with nearly any cable subscription, you can get access to dozens of video channels, like ESPN, Showtime, NBC, and many Show more. Shout to Sono Famote really from around 5,000 subs. Each That's crazy. I'm sure all of you have seen that six-digit code you have to go online and type into a web browser. Well, last year, we introduced single sign-on. Enter your cable cred credentials only once, and we unlock We're all gonna of the accept this guy's friend request. I'm gonna start. Well, now we're making downloading it my Fortnite right now, guys. Because with zero sign on. This is boring. It's boring, and we know so it. Now, if you're on your TV provider's broadband network, we'll securely and automatically and unlock there's still all the no YouTube 4K your TV service. on no the Apple TV. That needed. is dumb. It just works. Charter Spectrum. I don't know. Apple's on some bullshit, guys. really awesome. And Charter Spectrum will be the first to support zero sign-on, and we'll be adding more providers over time. We're also giving you even more I have options to update my for ways Fortnite. to control your Apple TV. For example, you can get quick access on your iPhone, where Apple TV users will get the Apple TV remote automatically. I'm the best Fortnite software. player on YouTube. And for those that have best. installed home control systems, we're working with the I leading providers so that five solo showdown games to control your Apple and TV. Even it's pretty hard to in solo showdown. At Apple, I love working with an amazing Everybody add me. I can't add everyone. Add me. I enjoy every day and on the biggest screen in my home. School's I get amazing. To watch all my favorite movies, TV shows and more. I'm on summer Over break right now. Million songs, including the best. But schools, all right, schools are amazing. School's horrible. All of but my I have photos, to do school. videos, and memories, as well as thousands of apps and games. You've won 17 you solo showdown games. And that's Apple really TV good, bro. Some amazing views right to my living room with aerials. 
Now, one of the questions I get asked the most about aerials, especially by my family. Shout out to Aries. You already know, it, bro. This fall, which is we don't play out here. Remote, you'll now be able to see every aerial. Location. Bro, 17 solo shutdown wins is. It's amazing. And you can even swipe between locations so you can see even more. And today, I have an incredible new location to share with you. For the past year, we've been collaborating closely with an amazing partner, filming some stunning footage from around the world with a very unique vantage point. And here it is. Earth. By astronauts aboard the I have so many friend requests Space right now. Station. You can see Sicily just off the boot of Italy. And check out that Just add me, guys. Sea, send me out, some of the friend requests. So here's a fun fact. The space station makes an orbit every 90 minutes. So that means they get 16 I think there's a new update. Every day. Yeah, it's and updating right now. So I'm just going to wait for the update. The Back to this boring stream. Here we are flying over South Korea toward Japan. You can see Tokyo coming into view at the top, some distant stars, and even the upper reaches of the Earth's atmosphere, which is that orange band. Fortnite's really fun. Country. It's really fun. And here's one that might look a little more familiar. This is the Northern California coast heading south. What is southward. this? What's this? You can see Lake Tahoe surrounded by snow caps and the San Francisco Bay. Is that wallpapers for the Apple TV? Incredible. And offers oh my such a God. unique perspective on the world. That's stupid. I'd like to give a huge thanks to the International Space Station National Lab and CASIS for all their help in making this. Shout possible. out to Josie. Let's see how much people in the stream right now. 26 people in the stream, some new faces. Drop These some likes so we can get 40 likes in the stream right now. That would be HDR. amazing. Let, let's get that like peak, guys. So 40 TVOS. likes right now. Apple TV gives you amazing 44? picture and sound. Whoa. 4K, HDR, and now like Dolby that. Atmos. And the Apple TV app is the center of your video experience. Available on Apple They're talking TV, about like iPad screen savers iPhone. for the Apple it's the TV. It's stupid. I don't know what they're doing. Shows, they should have watched movies, Google's keynote and, and take notes and because that, right now it it's Thank trash. You. It's doodle. Give us dark mode. Oh, Hashtag yeah. dark mode for iOS 12. TV, Hashtag dark mode for iOS 12 right now. That's what we need. Awesome. You're really gonna love it. Next up is the Mac. At you Apple, see, I think dark mode is yeah. coming. You see that dark mode the thing Mac. they have going on up there? The Mac was the first computer that made King G. Technology the iPhone so is not coming out now. This is just software the stuff. The, the iPhone is coming out in September. And of course, that remains at the core of all. This WWDC doodle. For Get out of my game. Years, the Mac has empowered people to Let's see what they're saying about the Mac, guys. Let's see. From the personal to the professional. Today, we're excited to take Mac a huge leap forward. The next Hashtag dark mode for us too. Let features me tweet that right now. Pro users, Hashtag dark mode for us too. for everyone. I'd like to bring Craig back up to talk about it. Craig? Hello again. <laughs> Matt, it's true that Mac OS is the heart of what makes a Mac a Mac. And we want as many Mac users as possible to have access to our latest software. And that's why six years ago, with the introduction of OS X Mavericks, we began offering our Mac OS updates free for Mac users. And 2013 was also the year that we first introduced our California naming theme. Now, after spending a year by the ocean, we not only modernized the look and feel of macOS, but we headed to the mountains with macOS Yosemite. Now, as you may be aware, our naming of Mac releases is handled by our crack marketing organization. <laughs> and as you probably noticed, they went on a four-year mountain-bound bender. <laughs> In El Capitan, we added metal, our groundbreaking graphics technology. In Sierra, we brought Siri to the Mac and extended our capabilities and continuity. 
And last year, with High Sierra, we focused on deep technology, preparing the Mac for future innovation. Well, this year, we've made some striking changes to Mac OS, and we've left the high country for a place entirely different, but no less beautiful, in here still in California. And I'd like to take you there now. Our next release of Mac OS is Mac OS Mojave. Not more than Mac What's up for that one for iPhone? Please. Now, Mojave is beautiful Please. during the day. Somebody help what me, really Please. What captured our imagination was the beauty <gasps> of the desert at night. And this inspired one of our most distinctive new features. And I'd like to show it to you now. Dark mode for Mac, but not for iPhone. So here we are live in Mac OS Mojave. And I'd like to show you a new side of Mojave. We call it dark mode. Woo! Let's go. I like that. See that same energy. Now as you see, Dark I'm gonna buy a MacBook just, just for this. Dock, or the menu bar it extends to your Windows Chrome, your sidebar, and even the content of the windows. And it's so great for pros. It makes photographic content absolutely pop off the screen. Let's it's go. Just gorgeous. Let's go. I like that. So nice. So nice. This is great, not just for photography. So what's up with the iPhone? Presentations. What's up with the iPhone? It's also great doing ordinary things if maybe you're working in a dark environment. You just look at calendar, even mail, in dark mode. No so love for fun. the iPhone. And I think some of us are going to want to run dark mode just because it's so cool. I mean, What's up for iPhones? Your emoji look great. Your photos look great. I mean, check out your album art and music. So I have to buy a MacBook for this, right? For you feed. Why? Apple My books doo doo. But I think one audience that's going to especially appreciate dark. Let's go here in this room. Our developers. No. Xcode no. I thought they were going to say iPhone users. Code, or even interface builder and all of its inspectors. No. They just look fantastic. Bruh. Black. And that's a quick look. Bruh. Dark mode. Now, we were so inspired by this changing desktop wallpaper, we decided to add a new feature to Mojave that I think you'll, you'll enjoy. It's called Dynamic Desktop. And when you're using so it, your bruh. desktop actually suddenly changes that. throughout the day, from morning to I afternoon was excited for no reason. to evening. It's really cool. Now, there's much more to Mojave that I'd like to share with you through demos, and it starts with the desktop. Now, the desktop is so crucial how many of us use our Macs. When we have files that we're actively working on, we often put them on the desktop, but the result can be a desktop that looks something like this. And so now in Mojave, we have a really great solution, and we call it Desktop Stacks. Get out of my game. All of the contents of your desktop are automatically arranged into these stacks. They can this be game arranged doo -doo. by kind, by date, or even by tag. And they're really this easy stream to use. Doo -doo. You just click Hashtag on you can see this all stream the contents in the stack. You can double click to open a document and put it away. And they stay organized. So for instance, if I bring forward mail, maybe I drag an image. That's out. neat. I, I like that. Happens. I like that. Image flies right into the right stack. I like that. Now, you can also scrub your stacks. So for instance, I'll just scrub across this stack. You see I can select between different photos, pick one up. Actually, let me just hide mail here, mid-drag. Got a little excited with my, uh, with all of my stack action. So I can just drag this out and drop it in just like that. And that's, that's a, a quick, quick look, look at stacks. Now, we've also brought guys, some I think at the end they're gonna say, and one more thing. Like, 
like to show dark you mode now. for iOS. No, and then I'm gonna get hard. With a new view, we all uh, enjoy using icon view, list view. <laughs> iOS 99. So we introduced view, but now dark we added mode. All new view. Headass. Called gallery view. Has a big preview up top. A set of thumbnails along the bottom. It makes it easy to preview images, video. I was forced to because they have to be high in order to put dark mode for iOS. Like, why? Just do it, please. Yes. Please. And of course, with images, sometimes you want to know more detail about, for instance, how they were captured. And now the new sidebar in Mojave really helps because it now supports. Bro. If we get dark mode for so iOS, see around your photo, the jailbreak is the gonna be a tough one, bro. Psych. The kind of lens, jailbreak again. Hashtag jailbreak so again. Forth. It's really handy. And you'll notice also along the bottom, there's this new area called quick actions. And quick actions that you act on the current photo. So for instance, if I have a photo yeah. like this and I want to edit it, I don't have to go into an app. Can rotate it right here inside. The finder. It's really what powerful. is this? Get off now, the sidebar is Get out my love you. Of the finder. My so high girl now. I'm just gonna bring up the preview pane here. My high girl now. Multi selection of a PDF as well as several images. And you'll notice that the quick actions area is contextual. Yeah. So it shows me create PDF as an option. <gasps> I'm gonna click create PDF and it's gonna send these photos into a PDF just like that. Boring. Well, what's really great is these actions are also customizable. Boring. So you can create automator actions and assign them to buttons here inside oh, the finder. Come so here, boy. That now that I have this PDF, My so can, now. I have an option to run a custom My automator now. action that I've created called Watermark PDF. When I click it, my custom action runs, and my document my head, no. is watermarked, just like that. Those are some quick okay, next. To the finder. Woo! Now, a tool that I think many of us love when working with files is Quick Look. And now in Mojave, we've made Quick Look more powerful than ever, ever by integrating markup. Let me show you how it works. So you see down here, I have a permission slip in a it's PDF document. I'm just going to hit tap spacebar to quick look it. And you notice now I have the option to invoke markup. I click, and now I have access to my markup tools, including my ability to sign this document. I can just drag out my signature like this, and I'm done. Now, this works for all kinds of files. So, for instance, with images, I can rotate and crop. And with video, I can even trim right here inside of Quick Look. That's a Quick Look at Quick Look. Next, I want to talk about how we capture content on our Mac. Because one of the tools that many of us use all the time is screenshots. And we've made screenshots more powerful than ever in Mojave. So let's take a look here uh, at a web page. And I'm just going to take a screenshot in the traditional way. I'm going to screenshot a selection of the page. And I want you to watch what happens in the lower right. I get a thumbnail instantly of that screenshot. And when I double click in, I get an accelerated workflow right into markup where I have access to all of my tools. So for instance, if I want to create the magnification here, I can just drag that out. Magnify, it's that easy. But now we've also made it easier to access a variety of tools. So when I bring up my screenshotting, you see I have it presented with this HUD that tells me I can capture the entire screen, a selected window. Let's see what cool stars are about. We've also added screen capture for video right into screenshotting. Let me show you how that works. So I'm going to go to a web page here that has an animation running. I'm going to bring up my screenshotting tools, and say to record the selected area. I'll just make a nice selection here. Okay, and I'm recording just like that. Of course, I can manipulate the app. This will all be reflected in my recording. And when I'm done, I can click the stop button right up here. And now you notice I have this thumbnail in the lower right. Well, I can actually pick this up and drag it into a new space 
and incorporate it right into a document, just like that. Now, we further enhance the way you capture content, and that brings me to continuity. So Mac users love continuity for the way it lets us work across our devices with things like uh, AirDrop or the ability to unlock your Mac using your Apple Watch. When it comes to capturing content, we'll walk around with one of the best content capture devices in the world in our pockets, our phones. And so we wanted to take advantage of continuity to bring that to the Mac with a feature we call Continuity Camera. Let me show you how it works. So here in my keynote presentation, I have a space that's just waiting for a new photo. And then my phone right here. Well, when I select this object, I can choose to take a photo. And I want you to watch what happens when I select this to my phone. It automatically, immediately lights up, ready to take a photo. So I can take one like this. And when I do, I can select Use Photo, and it appears directly in my document. Isn't that cool? Now, this works as well for scanning documents. So here I have a place where I could use a scan. Once again, I'm going to select uh, from the menu, and this time Scan Document. Again, my camera lights up, this time right in my document scanner. I just scan like this. I can save it. And my scan goes immediately in, I think I forgot to push the save button. Sorry about that, everybody. There you go. It appears immediately in my document. Thank you. And so just like that, I can take photos, stills, and even capture video. And this is a quick look at some great new features in Mojave. Next, I'd like to turn to apps. We are bringing news to the Mac. Now, news has all of the stories you've come to expect from news on waiting, iOS. Man. They look amazing on the Mac display. You get top stories picked I'm by Trying to see what cool star posted. Trending stories. You're personalized for you, and that's not for me. And. You also get this great new sidebar where you can drill in and jump right to the topics and channels you follow. News is going to be great. We also have stocks coming to the Mac. Now, you get your stock prices combined with high-quality business news delivered from Apple News. Shows you your watch list with your prices on the left. You can even drill into this interactive chart to get more information. And of course, great news. We're also bringing voice memos to the Mac. Now, voice memos is the most popular voice recorder on iOS. And so many of us use it to capture music recordings or lectures. And now that voice memos syncs via iCloud to your Mac, you can take those recordings that you make and, for instance, drag them right into GarageBand as the foundation for a song. Finally, thrilled to announce Home is coming to the Mac as well. You have all of your accessories here. You can run your scenes as well as monitor your video cameras. And, of course, with Siri, you can command your home with your voice. So those are four great new apps coming to Mojave. Okay, please give us dark mode so we can all sleep well. Bye. Bye. Next, I'd like to talk about security and privacy. You know, one of the reasons that people choose Apple products is because of our commitment to security and privacy. And we believe that you see all these dark mode icons should remain Let's private. Go. Now, not because you've done something wrong or that you have something to hide, but because there can be a lot of sensitive data on your devices, and we think you should be in control of who sees it. Now, to begin, we protect your information on your devices using state-of-the-art hardware and software. And this year, we're adding greater protections about how apps can access that information. Today, Apple devices check in with you before granting an app access to information like your location. You can tell because you'll see your alert just like this one. And macOS already pro provides API level protections for things like contacts, 
photos, calendar, and reminders. But now in Mojave, we're extending these protections to include your camera and your microphone, as well as protecting sensitive parts of your file system, like your mail database, your message history, and your backups. And all of this is protected by default for any app that you run on the system. Important protection. Next, I want to turn to some great enhancements to Safari. Safari works really hard to protect, protect your privacy, and this year it's working even harder. Last year, we introduced intelligent tracking prevention to dramatically reduce the ability for apps to track you across websites using cookies. This is the kind of thing where you look at a product on one site, then you move to another site, and another site, and somehow this is just following you wherever you go. Well, we've all seen these, these like buttons and share buttons, and these comment fields. Well, it turns out these can be used to track you, whether you click on them or not. And so this year, we are shutting that down. Now, if you do want to interact with one of these, or one of these apps tries to access that information, you'll get this, and you can decide to keep your information private. Now, next, let's talk about fingerprinting. You know, data companies As 12 is not are clever here. and relentless. And in addition to cookies, they use another method called fingerprinting. And here's how it works. Just like you can be identified by Shout out to Joanna. It turns out that when you browse the web, the stream, shout out to Stuff and Thanks for joining the stream. As 12 is not out yet, it will be out soon. Like it's configuration, it's fonts that you have installed. And the plugins that you might I'll make a video on how to get ice. It's supposed to be coming with the new iPhone in September, but I'll make a video on how to get it early for sure. If you guys would like to see that, with Mojave, we're making it much harder for trackers to create a unique fingerprint. We're presenting web pages with only a simplified system configuration. My PC is so powerful, guys. I'm running Fortnite, stream. And legacy plugins Premier and Pro, supported, so Photoshop contribute to a fingerprint. It's only and a laptop. As a result, That's your crazy. Mac will look more like everyone else's Mac, and it will be dramatically more difficult for data companies to uniquely. I like iPhones. I like Android phones. I like every phone. As long as it's a good phone, I like it. Now we're bringing all of these new protections to Safari on both Mojave and iOS 12. Next, let's talk about the Mac App Store. And to do that, I'd like to invite to the stage Ann Ty, our product marketing manager for the App Store. And Last year, we launched a completely redesigned App Store on iOS. Every day, we celebrate apps, games, and developers. We've written more than 4,000 stories for the new Today tab. And hundreds of them have each been I'll show you my Fortnite tier after the stream. People. The response has been incredible, and we've learned a lot. We've got a bunch of great new features coming later this year that we'll cover in sessions. This year, Thanks, we're turning our attention to the Mac App Store. <laughs> Since it launched in 2011, it's changed the way we download and install software for Mac, making it easy with one click. It's the biggest catalog of Mac apps in the world. It's also a trusted and safe place to download software. And trusting where you get your apps from HQ has become Trib more is live. important than ever. Developers can distribute their apps to 155 Yo, countries Are you and get Fortnite? worldwide payment or processing. Not? And it offers seamless software updates from one place. This adds up to a great experience for our users. We've spent a lot of time thinking about what people do on their Macs and wanted to create a place organized around those themes. So we've redesigned an all new Mac app store from the ground up and we're thrilled to show it to you now. It's got a beautiful UI that should feel familiar, but new and designed first and foremost to be a great Mac app. 
Starting with the new Discover tab, where each week you can find in-depth editorial about the best Mac apps through stories and collections, and to see what's most popular with top charts. Here's a story about musician and founder Kareem Morsi. Learn about how he uses his app, DJ Pro 2, and get inspiration for your own set. Helpful videos autoplay so you can see what apps are capable of before downloading them. Visit the all new Create, Work, Play, and Develop tabs where you'll find helpful recommendations and expertise around each theme. Here's the Create tab where you can find apps that bring your artistic ideas to life. These tabs will also help you make the most of apps you might already have, with tips and tutorials even the most expert users will find useful. The Work, Play, and Develop tabs share the same beautiful design, and you can still browse by category on the Categories tab. We've redesigned product pages too, bringing many features over from iOS based on our learnings there. It has more useful information, like video previews, available on the Mac App Store for the first time, and apps rank if it's charting and if it's been named Editor's Choice. Ratings and reviews are now front and center. And these are so okay, important Okay, Slayer, I'll play on my PS4 So we're introducing then. a ratings and review API for Mac apps. Now, it'll Let's be easier them. than ever for people to leave Fortnite feedback. On my PC. We're really excited about the all new Mac App Store. We've talked to some developers already and they're really excited too. Like Microsoft, who will bring Office 365 to the Mac App Store later this year. Okay. And Adobe is bringing Lightroom CC. Panic is bringing Transmit. And Barebones is bringing BB Edit. And many more great names are coming to the all new Mac App Store too. We can't wait for you to check out the new Mac I App Store. Store. Dark mode, please. Now I'll hand it back to Craig. We have one more thing. Please. Please have one more thing, Craig. Please. So we think the Mac App Store is going to inspire whole new generations of apps. And so we want to talk about some of the technologies that will be, be behind some of that next No, I haven't generation. checked my... I haven't There's checked my comment section yet, Joanna, but we'll I'll give you some hearts more. on the comment section for and you. And let's start with Metal. Now, Metal is the technology to get the highest performance graphics and computation from graphics processors. Metal was designed for modern... Fortnite! Reviews. It's incredibly Let's go, efficient. baby! And that enables amazing console-level games like Fortnite from Epic to run great for the first time on mobile. But Metal also enables these games to scale to take full advantage of modern Macs. In fact, across iOS and the Mac, there are over 1 billion Metal-enabled devices. And we're constantly making Metal better. To bring the highest GPU performance PC, and reach of all Macs, we've recently added support for external I'm GPUs. On PC. And Why should I play PC? Metal. And the results it's are the truly same thing. mind boggling. For instance, I build faster on filter in DaVinci Resolve. I build faster Look at what scales four. on the incredibly fast iMac Pro as you add up to four eGPUs. Now, the results are There's even no more hardware in this WWDC. They're only talking about software. Add eGPUs to it, achieving up to eight. I'm going online right now. It's speed up. It's pretty awesome. Right, let me know when you're online. Now, shout out to Sahin Ali. The stream shout out to OKLM3939 in the stream right now. So to everyone in this room. Now, this beautiful forest you see here, this isn't a video capture. This is from Unity's new Book of the Dead interactive demo, and it's being rendered live right now on a MacBook with an eGPU powering this display. I mean, doesn't this look amazing? <laughs> now, of course, because this is rendered live, uh, we can check what's up ahead. So let's start walking. Oh, now, shit. Unity is using Metal's unified graphics and compute to generate real-time lighting and complex post-processing effects. So cool. And that's all rendered live on a MacBook running with an eGPU. It's pretty great.
Now, another place you where we on incredible PC acceleration you on in metal is in machine learning. And today, ML specialists usually use one of these third-party libraries to train their models using servers. Guys, and now it turns out we can accelerate we're gonna live stream like this on with this our new performance shaders. If you want to come over to my side. Up to 20 times in using the GPU with metal instead of CPU-based training. And while speeding these tools up is great, we actually think there's a better way for most developers. That's training on the Mac you already have using a great new tool we call CreateML. Now, CreateML is designed to let you train without being a machine learning expert. You can train vision and natural language models. You can bring your own custom data, and it's really easy to use because it's all built in Swift. In fact, you can use Xcode Playgrounds to train your model. Just drag one in your training set, and you can drag in your test set as well. And the training is all GPU accelerated. So it's incredibly fast. Guys, go now, and subscribe an example, right here. We worked with Memrise. They're a developer who uses the uh, camera to identify objects and speak them in multiple languages. And subscribe in the past, to that channel, they would train their model with 20,000 images, and it would take them 24 hours I'm to do so. Right now. Well, now, with CreateML, they can train that same model in 48 minutes on a MacBook Pro. And on an iMac Pro, it's just 18 minutes. And what's even more incredible is that model in the past for them was 90 megabytes, and now it's just three megabytes. It's a huge difference. Now, we right also now. are making models run much faster on device using Core ML2. Now, Core ML is our technology right for high performance on device machine learning. Streaming and two now times. it's better than ever. It's 30% faster in on-device processing right, using go. a technique you called right batch predictions. Let me turn and on you can reduce that. your model size by up to 75% using right quantization. And so that's Core ML and Create ML. You no longer have to be an expert in machine learning to build those techniques into your app. So if anyone now, wants to see like my level, let's check the stream right now. On apps. And they're common not just to Mac OS, but also to iOS. And the fact that the Mac and iOS share so much technology has led people almost every year to keep asking us the question, are you merging iOS and Mac OS? So I'd like to take a moment to briefly address this question. No. Huh. Of course not. We, we love the Mac because it's, exp and we love Mac OS because it's explicitly created to, to the, the unique characteristics of Mac hardware, like the ergonomics of the keyboard and the trackpad, the flexibility in displays and storage, and because Here's of the power tear. it exposes, it makes the Mac able to accomplish almost anything. So we think that this question is actually coming from something else. You know, Mac users have access to a That's rich right set now. of great native applications, apps that take full advantage of the power of Mac technologies. But Mac users also use apps based on other technologies. We routinely access web-based experiences like take Netflix that, that build on WebKit, the standards-based web technology in Safari. Take that, mud. We also run sometimes cross-platform games uh, built on technology like Metal. And all of these platforms yeah. enrich the Mac user's experience. Uh, but Back we think there's room bro. for one more. And so we'd like to give you a sneak peek, sneak peek. of a multi-year project we have going on. Because we see a huge opportunity for the Mac to tap into the world's most vital app ecosystem. It's called iOS. I think you might be familiar with it. Now, there are millions of iOS apps out there, and we think some of them would be absolutely great on the Mac. And Mac users would love to have them there. And from a technical standpoint, it's actually a really good fit because from day one, iOS and macOS have shared common foundations. But iOS devices and Mac devices, of course, are different. And the user interfaces are somewhat different. And so the frameworks underneath are as well. And that makes today porting an app from one to the other some work. Well, we wanted to make this much easier. And so we've taken 
some key frameworks from iOS and brought them to the Mac. And we've adapted them to specific Mac behaviors like use of trackpad and mouse, window resizing, integration of things like copy and paste and drag and drop into the system services on the Mac. Now, phase one of this effort is to test it on ourselves. So this year in Mac OS, we've taken some of our own iOS apps and we oh, brought them to no the Mac using these technologies to make sure it works no well. No way. You've actually heard about several of them. Shout out to Jonah with the big five in the chat. Fantastic Mac apps. And Everybody we spam five in the chat right now, guys. Mac Shout out to Jonah with the big five dollar donation, now, guys. This is going to be coming to you. That's one of my highest donations year. ever. Shout out so to Jonah. Everybody show her some love right now. And in the meantime, show Jonah some love in the chat right stocks, now. Let's go. Voice memos and home in Mojave. So I'm talking about. Now we're really excited about Mojave. From desktop. Shout out to Jonah, stacks, guys. Binder, big fives in the chat view, right now. To enhance screenshots and markup, news and home on the Mac for the first time. Big fives in the stocks, chat, guys. Show some love. And of course, the redesigned Mac app store. Big five in the chat right now. Shout out to Jono, the big five dono. Like APFS now supports Let's go. Fusion and hard drives. And Safari tabs can now have favicons if you Let's want them. Let's go. There. And, of course, group FaceTime. Yeah, I'm, yeah, so I'm doing two streams. Mojave. I hope you like it. Thanks, Jono, for the five dollar donation. So really appreciate that. We're still, we're still trying to figure out if they're going to say... What a huge we're going to get dark mode via stuff. Simple. And what an extraordinary That's all waiting morning. on right now. We got started with iOS 12. Okay. With all new capabilities, I think including this is, taking I think AR this is further it. than ever yeah. before. I think this is it right now, Siri to any app with Siri shortcuts and screen time. So and far, cool new communication features like Memoji and group Let's FaceTime. Let's see, stream. I think this and is it right now. Now with Walkie Talkie, activity competitions, new workouts, new Siri capabilities, and so much more. And Apple TV 4K, now with Dolby Atmos, some great new I'll partnerships. i use that $5 to buy me some Fortnite skins. <laughs> and you're going to really love those new aerial screensavers. All right, guys, let's see. And Mac OS Mojave, with all new dark mode, great updates. Let's see, one more thing. Finder, let's see. Enhanced privacy and security, and a completely redesigned Mac app store. Let's see, stream. The updates will be available to our users this fall. This fall, you already know we could get that earlier. there will be for each of them after the keynote this morning. We can get these betas right now. Thank you. Now, before we close, ha! we wanted to celebrate you and the amazing work that you do. So we went out and talk to some of the most important people in your lives, the ones that know you the best. And we made a short video, and I'd love to run it for you now. Really? It's all about developers. I don't have any idea at all how to create an app. I don't understand any of it. Thank you. Let's see, stream. My son is a developer at Robinhood. My daughter, Jyoti, is a WWDC 2018 scholarship winner. My brother started and founded Yelp. Only a timeless. One drop. Splitter critters. Hey. Homer, you gotta look at her. My brother, Derek, created the app, Refugees and Immigrants, the Creative. The Collective. Why did I say the Creative? At Christmas time, when most kids maybe would want skis or something, he wanted computer books. He stayed in his bedroom making games while the other kids were outside. Yeah, I'm gonna play Fortnite now. Really doing the coding. Everybody, almost, always go to my other stream. Stop. But then, playing Fortnite right like, now. Just give me another ten minutes. The stream's not over yet. They could probably still hit us with that big when dark I'm mode bomb, code, guys. So let's wait on for that one. Move in a weird way. Everyone, subscribe to my second channel right now. Months. Drop my link for my second channel in the chat right now. So everyone could subscribe and we're gonna play some Fortnite. I wanna go crazy. When he first came to us with the idea, we were like, okay, good luck. 
He started off in his small little one bedroom apartment with next to Mods drop my link to my second channel in the chat right now. A burger and just Please. have ramen just so that he could and I I'm like, just buy the burger and he's like, No, that's three bucks that I can Please. put towards the app. Jeremy went out to build the first version of Yelp and it was a total bust. Total failure. She tried really hard on a couple different titles and you've never heard of them. And Guys, don't tell me know, I have to do this. That's a really rough feeling. That was definitely a low point for Jeremy. Don't tell me I have to do this myself. Retool and try again. What Jeremy did Mods. notice in the data was Help that me. people Please. loved writing comments. Please. And that was really the genesis of the second version of Yelp. All right. Worked. You have to be, be really like okay that. with waking up to failure. And then at the no end of problem. a whole bunch of failures is something that's great. No problem, stream. Tessa didn't really think I want to make an app. Tessa found a problem of food waste which you could use the app to help to solve. Emma's grandma was diagnosed with Alzheimer's. She even forgot my daughter's birthday. So Emma tried to search for an app that would help, uh, but she couldn't find it. So she said, you know, why don't we... Show it to my big mod in the I chat, Eric. Click on that, that link Jeffrey to watch the stream right now. Show it to my big mod, Eric. Diabetes. Working really hard yeah, right it's now. An answer to a lot of people's prayers. Shout out to Eric, Just guys. Won the iPhone game of the year. I Eric's doing the, the dirt right it now. Was remarkable. She pulled out her cell phone and I saw his app on her phone and I was like, trying not to forget. For my life, it's not just creating, it's really Shout out to Kid and Alex for subscribing to the new big. channel. The one lesson that I learned from Jeremy every I saw day that big subscribe in the messages. Tenacity, King the Alex, he we're gonna start as soon as the stream of Apple's event is over. Everything on getting we're gonna go crazy. And we're I gonna carry A Slayer J Ace for some victories, guys. I think he's made a big know. difference. He doesn't have to do anything, we'll just put him in the shopping cart. She wants to just learn how to teach others. Push him in a circle, it's over. Really to see her blossom. As a parent, What's up, Eric? The thing is that then your kids do what they want to do. Because it isn't how much money you've made. It's really what changes ah. you've left behind. Yeah, you, you can watch both streams. Each they have multitasking. Shout out to Shuffin Films right now in the chat. Alright, guys. The stream's about to finish over Apple side. Let's see if they're going to drop us with that big dark mode. Let's see. Let's see the stream. Who's excited right now? I love that video. Comment one if you think and they're gonna say dark mode. Comment two if no dark morning. mode for iOS. One dark mode for iOS. Two no dark mode for iOS. Do it quick before. In your Let's see. We love the work you do. Let's see. And the impact that it has on the world. I see. It inspires all of us at Apple deeply every day. On behalf of everyone at. Where's the confidence, Jim? Thank you. Let's see, let's see. It's almost over. One more thing. And I'd also like to thank everyone at Apple who made today possible. Days like this only come from it's getting years interesting. Of effort and hard work and great sacrifice. And so I thank <sighs> them and their families. Let's have an incredible week together. Thank you. It's done. That's it. That's it, stream. No, no dark mode. What? Stream, I don't know. I don't know what. What? Guys, I'm going to download this new beta profile. I'm going to check if there's like a hidden dark mode or something like that. Because sometimes Apple has so much features that they don't announce in their keynote convention or stuff like that. So we're going to play some games of Fortnite right now. And then afterwards, when the beta comes out, I'm going to upload a new video talking about all the hidden features and everything. So, guys, mods, drop my link to my second stream right now in the chat and we're gonna play some Fortnite. Thanks for joining the stream, everyone. Thanks for joining up for the big $5 donation. Shout out to everybody right now. And as always, guys, love, peace.